This video will explain the SIMGAN model. Deep neural networks currently need uh, big data sets in order to learn useful representations. But graphics engines are able to produce massive amounts of simulated data. In addition to being uh, really big data sets, they're also already labeled. So the idea in SIMGAN is to use GANs to bridge the gap between the simulated and real data to perform tasks in with real data. So this is the overview of the SIMGAN idea. You take a black box simulator, which is a graphics engine like Unreal or Unity, and you produce these synthetic images from it. Then you use a GAN framework to have the generator refine the synthetic images so they are more closely resembling the real image data set. So there's three key ideas that they implement to make this work. The first idea is a weighting between adversarial and L1 distance loss. Because they're doing image to image translation, they don't start from random vectors, they start from this synthetic image. So they want to use the adversarial loss, but they also don't want it to change the image too dramatically. So they have these two terms weighted by this lambda parameter to make sure that it adds realism, but it also doesn't distort the image too much. And this is just uh, taking apart the regularization loss. They take the L1 distance between the generated changed image and then the original input synthetic image. And the key idea is just that they don't want to change the label of the uh, simulated images. So another idea that they use is the local receptive field in the discriminator. And this is also called uh, patch GAN in other papers. And so what the idea is, is having the discriminator look at the whole image is currently a, a difficult thing to make work. So what they do is instead they just have the discriminator look at uh, local patches and classify the realism of the local patches. So rather than um, outputting a single output of like one zero real fake, they have it be convolutional all the way through and then it outputs a feature map indicating uh, which patches it thinks are real and fake. And then another idea is instead of updating the discriminator on the current step alone, they'll keep a history uh, of refined images to update the discriminator. And this is an idea that is present in reinforcement learning and the improved techniques for training GANs paper, that it really stabilizes the training and avoids these spiking gradients if you have some kind of history and a buffer of uh, previously generated images. So this result just shows uh, the idea here and what this really looks like. So on the top, you just see what the synthetic, synthetic images to refine look like and how this transition is. Some of them are pretty interesting. And you can see like the one in the middle on the far right, especially going from the generated to the real image. And then on the bottom, it, it gives you some color to get even more context for it. So what they do is they take the refined images and then they train a classifier on eye gaze estimation. And it's really amazing how uh, much better the classifier performs with the refined synthetic data compared to the original data. So thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to Henry AI Labs.